What is up, Kanto University? I'm Duncan Kneedeep, and for today's competitive profile, I'll be taking a look at Landorus, specifically his Therian form. The reason I've decided to separate the forms is that they both perform completely different roles in competitive battling. I may do a profile on Landorus Incarnate in the future, but for this video, we're going to be focusing on the Therian form only. Landorus T has a very good typing. Ground flying leaves him with just two weaknesses, while providing two immunities and three resistances. His four times weakness to ice is however a problem, and you will need to be aware of that at all times when using this Pokemon. Along with a good typing, Landorus Therian has impressive base stats. Most notably, his 145 base attack makes him an obvious physical threat, and 91 speed, while not stellar for an offensive Pokemon, leaves him as a relatively fast and very powerful Choice Scarf user if you choose to go the offensive route. At a first glance, his defenses, while not bad by any means, do not seem to position him to be a defensive Pokemon, especially when his offensive potential is taken into account. This initial impression would be true if not for this Pokemon's ability. The Intimidate ability makes Landorus T one of the best defensive pivots in the game. He is easily able to switch in on a physical attacker, take a hit and then either set up or U-turn out, allowing you to maintain switch priority, which is important for keeping momentum during a battle. When used in this manner, it is generally prudent to keep your Landris alive until the physical threats to your team are eliminated. In terms of smog on tiers, Landris T sits firmly in OU, and actually has a significant presence in Ubers. No one can argue that this Pokemon isn't a threat, and if you see one in Team Preview, you need to make sure you have a plan to deal with it. The combination of high base stats, an impressive physical move pool, and the Intimidate ability give Therian Form Landorus a wide variety of viable sets. I'm going to provide you with just a few options, but these are by no means the only sets that are viable to run on this Pokemon. This first set is a Scarf Attacker. I'm recommending you run it Adamant with a Choice Scarf, 44 HP EVs, 252 Attack EVs, and 212 Speed EVs. For moves, I'm running Earthquake, Stone Edge, U-Turn, and Knock Off, and this set is the basic offensive Landorus. A Choice Scarf makes his slightly subpar 91 speed more than usable, and with 212 speed EVs, he will outspeed the majority of the metagame, most importantly, Mega Manetric with a positive speed nature, so generally timid. The reason for wanting to outspeed Mega Manetric is simple. Ground typing gives you immunity to electric attacks, which gives you plentiful opportunities to switch in on this Pokemon. However, most Mega Manetrics do run HP Ice, which would kill Landorus if you didn't outspeed and kill it with Earthquake. More than 212 speed EVs is, in my opinion, a waste, so the extra EVs are invested in HP to allow Landorus just to take a few more physical hits and switch in a few more times. The move set is pretty simple. Earthquake is your strong stab attack, Stone Edge allows you to take out Tannenflame, Megazard Y, and many other common Pokemon with ground immunities and rock weaknesses. U-Turn is there to allow you to use Landorus as an offensive pivot and maintain a momentum by switching in on a physical attacker, intimidating, forcing the switch, and then U-Turning out to maintain your switch priority. And finally, Knock Off is a fantastic utility move that also allows Landorus to outspeed and one-hit KO fast threats like Latios or Gengar. Another option is to run the same set, but with a naughty nature, 44 EVs in special attack instead of HP, and have Hidden Power Ice in place of knockoff. Hidden Power Ice provides coverage for Pokemon such as Garchomp, but it does come at the cost of a little bulk and much of your physical coverage. The next set I'm going to provide for you guys is the Double Dancing Lando. Once again, we're running it Adamant, with either Leftovers if you want a little bit more survivability, or Earth Plate if you want a little bit more power. An EV spread of 128 HP, 252 attack, and 128 speed, is very specific. If you manage to set up a Rocks Polish with this EV spread, it will allow you to outspeed base 100 and in fact base 102 speed Scarf users. This will almost always limit your opponent to priority in order to take your Landorus out if they want to outspeed you. In addition to this, a plus 2 Earthquake or Stone Age will at least 2 hit KO the majority of the metagame, okoing a large number of threats. Rock Polish and Sword Stance are obviously on this set as your boosting moves, and Stone Edge and Earthquake are your attacking moves. As a downside, you do sacrifice coverage, but it is still a good set, and it's surprisingly fun to use. Pulling off a sweep with this set is very, very satisfying. Finally, we've got Lando Balkrissian, my personal favourite set for the Landorus, which is an impish Landorus running leftovers with 252 HP, 252 defence and 4 attack. Once again, for moves, you're running the common Earthquake and Stone Edge. As support, you then run Stealth Rocks, and in your final move slot, you can either run U-Turn or Knock Off. 
This set is used as a bulky offensive pivot. It will eat up physical attacks with ease and check the large majority of the physical metagame in X and Y OU. Switching it in on a physical attacker gives you a free opportunity to set up your stealth rocks, or a slow U-turn allows you to eat up a hit and switch out to a better matchup. This slow U-turn also gives you switch priority if your opponent does decide to switch out with a hard switch. An alternative EV spread for this set is 200 HP, 216 defense, and 92 speed. This allows you to outspeed and kill many positive speed nature base 70 speed Pokemon. Of course, this extra speed does come at the loss of a little bulk. When it comes to Team Synergy, there really isn't much to be said. Due to its fantastic typing, ability, and move pool, Landorus Therian can fit nicely into almost any team using one set or another. I have personally seen a lot of success recently using Landorus on a rain team. As I previously mentioned, I am barely scratching the surface of possible sets for this Pokemon. I would love to see your sets down below in the comments, so please do comment and I will read and comment on your sets. If you want to see any more of my videos, including a huge number of battles using this particular Pokemon, as he is admittedly one of my crutches, please check out my channel which is linked in the description down below. Do remember to like this video and subscribe to Kanto University for more videos on everything Pokemon. I've been Duncan Deep, and I'll see you all next time.